putting the engine back in this TE300 and all four of the rad mount holes are in rough shape. So I'm gonna throw some Healy coils in there. And no, I don't prefer time certs. I'm gonna start by drilling out the hole the quarter inch for an M6, and lube on the tap. Red Loctite in there. When I load the Healy coil onto this little thing, slip it through the guide. This is important or else the Healy coil will just kind of separate. Now the insert can go in. I'm gonna use this little tool with a slot in the end to break the tang off the end of the Healy coil. Clean out the holes. Good to go. And one of the reasons why I like a Healy coil better than a time cert is because it's impractical to add more strength to the threaded hole than what the fastener can withstand. If you want a real world test of that, you can look at Project Farm's video. Spoiler alert, Healy coils and time certs are basically the same strength. The other reason that I like Healy coils better is because with the time cert, you have to chamfer the hole or put a little recess. So it's more difficult to install it accurately. And then you spread the time cert so it presses into the hole. So if the time cert or the material around the time cert starts to relax or fatigue over time, your time cert could potentially come loose. With the Healy coil, because it's flexible, it's going to continue putting pressure on that hole and it's going to maintain itself in harsh conditions and with repeated fastener use.